We are talking. Oops. You two keep talking. We are talking. Uh, technology, Mike Agarbo joins us now. You've got some neat stuff. Squire's all excited about this. Well, this is a super important tool for any person uh, working, especially in an office environment. Mm -hmm. You're going hard on the spreadsheets and you're thinking, I wish I had a nice ice cold beer or pop. Yeah. Well, now you've got something here from Coolit Systems, actually a Calgary company. They make liquid cooled uh, cooling systems for computers and they came out with this USB Ooh. beverage chiller. Yeah. So essentially... You just hook it up to your computer? Well, oh, yeah, on. it's uh, it's sucking the power out of your USB connection right. here. And uh, it's got a fan built in. I can hear the that fan. That is cold. Yeah. And this was, uh, you just got this out of the cafeteria. It was cold. Well, yes. Okay, but how long does it take to warm? <laughs> it's the magic of television. How long does it take to make that cold if that was a warm pop? I don't know, about an hour. An hour. Half and an hour. that would totally kill your battery. Well, by that time, I'm going to go down to the, the, <laughs> the uh, pop machine just get a cold one. Why do I have to wait? And it would kill your battery on your laptop. But perhaps you had this plugged in because you're in your office, right? I don't think I'd take this so, out on the road and, you know, on an airplane sit and hmm. try to... May I work. suggest some ice? <laughs> <laughs> How much is this? Oh, it's heavy, too. Um, I think that one's $50. Okay. Do Anybody? they have one where they have they more They heat it up? Put, I, I think Sorry, there are some know. on the market you're, like that. Where are you uh, going with this? Well, I thought... Uh, <laughs> well, I wanted to ask, do you have one that has more than one... Uh, you can put, like, say, where six on there. Where are you going with there. this? And say you had that you had six warm pops and you wanted to warm them up at once because you had company coming. I think or that cool would, them down. I think that would suck the battery out of your. Well, you could plug it into your wall at home. Oh, Instead of just putting it in the fridge. fridge? Whatever. <laughs> Maybe your fridge is broken. Perhaps we should move on. Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> Maybe you have five office friends. We appreciate the company in Calgary coming up with such an innovation, but it's a good we, idea. we clearly it's don't a good appreciate idea. it that yes. much. Okay. No. I uh, want to have a look at some GPSs. This is from yeah, John. Yeah, this is a good idea. This is uh, their crossover GPS. And what I like about this one is that you can take it with you to a number of different places. This so. is the perfect Valentine's Day gift for every man on the planet who drives. Well, that, exactly. Two things men don't read. Maps and instruction manuals. Make no mistake. But this one's got nice colorful pictures and it actually tells you where to go. Cool. Direction-wise. Really? And uh, yeah, so you basically you plug in where you want to go, just typing right on the touch screen. Right. And from there, it uh, automatically tunes into the satellites orbiting the Earth and plots exactly where you are and then gives you audio directions. Turn right here, turn left here. So it works in any vehicle? Yes. Okay, you just pop it in. And so the cool thing about this one is that, uh, oh, Go back to the main menu. Not only will it work in your car, it comes with this little handy dandy thing here. You can also detach it. You can mm -hmm. take it to your boat, for example. It's got mm -hmm. a marine mode. Oh, good. And uh, it's also uh, being detachable there. You can hook it onto a belt uh, thing as well and take it hiking. So if you get lost, you can keep it. I know the city. I know all the back roads. All right. How much is this? Uh, this one goes for several hundred dollars. So okay. I think around $400. Can I see it? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Could you take it on a plane? <laughs> or I guess it would screw up with the instruments. And I don't, yeah, I don't know the if the plane would you crash. Have that on the plane. So this is taking it one step further. This is the Mio DigiWalker. Oh, I like this one. This is kind of cool because it's touchscreen again. It's got yep. the built-in GPS, so it gives you the directions. Let's see if I can go into the mobile map here. And now I've totally lost it. Uh, so so the, is this only supposed to be when you're walking you, or driving as well? Uh, it'll give you audio directions as okay. well. So you don't want to be staring at it in the car. Right. But, um, let's see if we can go here for the flyover. And have I lost it? Yes. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> It's really co cute and easy to use. It is. The touchscreen <laughs> thing is pretty cool. But what makes this thing uh, even cooler is yeah. that it's uh, got, got built-in games, mm -hmm. and you can use it as an MP3 player. Oh, so you I can like load this up, one. Uh, your music and videos. Okay. How much is this one? This one here goes for around four hundred dollars. Okay, I like that one better. So if you're lost, you can always play games and listen to music and, and then you exactly where you are. You can <laughs> also heat up your sprite <laughs> or cool, yeah, it down, cool it down. Whatever you See, want that's, to. See, that's a good combo. You're so no technology. I yeah. do. All right, if you have any more questions for Mike, you and he also is on show. See? Get connected. It's oh, a new, new it's a new picture. Look Who's at you. G Tech Tech TV. Who are those TV? other people? G Four Tech TV. That's Yolanda and that's AJ. Those are my co-hosts. So on, on now shows. on Saturday at five. Yes, on, on TV. TV. On what yeah. channel? Uh, G4 Tech TV. It's oh. You, you, well, you got your own, your, own, your own network or something? No, Global hasn't bought that one yet. You're taking over the world. We will soon, I'm you sure. You will soon. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Final look at the weather forecast.